Uh, that's the posterior approach. Correct. Now, I've heard patients say they can't cross their legs, they can't uh, w wiggle and contort for right. a while. Why is that after, after the replacement? Okay, if you imagine this posterior capsule that uh -huh. we have to cut, if you bend your hip up past a 90 degree angle, there's a risk that the hip could dislocate or pop out the back. And then more importantly, there's a nerve called the sciatic nerve that comes right out of this notch and right down the leg. Oh, so that's where the sciatic that nerve is, is. Comes out of this little notch called the sciatic notch. So, so the problem with that is that, that sciatic nerve is so close to the hip joint that just pulling it out of the way can bruise it and you can end up with some numbness or weakness in your foot because of that. So, so in the posterior approach, assuming that the nerve doesn't get injured, which normally it doesn't, we still have to let this capsule heal back and that'll take close to six months. So we'll have to tell the patients you can't cross your legs, you can't bend over, you can't do this, you can't do that. Or it might pop out. Or it could pop out. Uh, so what other approaches can you do? Do you have to do the posterior? Is it easier? What's that? It's, what you know, it's the one that most surgeons are trained on. So in the residency, that's the, the common way to do it. The t there, there's another approach which has more recently been developed where it's called an anterior. It's directly in the front of the hip. It's called a direct anterior approach. In this approach, we go in and instead of cutting any of the, the back muscles, we can cut the front muscle or the front capsule, the front lining. But now if you bend your hip to a 90 degree angle, there's no risk that that's gonna dislocate or pop out. It so seems like that would be a better approach. It's, it's a, a much better approach. And, it, and the other benefit is these patients really rehab much faster. So uh, I've done this a posterior approach through what we call a minimally invasive technique, which has been great, but this anterior approach patients recover even faster.